Have you ever found yourself standing at the crossroads of life, wondering if miracles are on the horizon? Today, let's explore together the signs that indicate miracles are coming for each and every one of us. As we embark on this journey of faith and motivation, let's draw inspiration from the timeless wisdom found in the scriptures. Before this start this video, please like this video. It will help us to reach all the people in the word. In the last, I'll pray a strong and good prayer with you in Jesus' name. Stick around till the end and be open to receive the good things from this prayer. Let us delve into the first sign that indicates miracles are on the horizon, alignment with God's will. Have you ever felt a divine calling, a stirring within your heart that beckons you to align your actions with a greater purpose? Proverbs 3, 5, 6 implores us to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. This submission to God's will is the cornerstone of the miraculous journey. As we navigate the intricate tapestry of life, aligning ourselves with God's will becomes a compass, guiding us through both the peaks and valleys. It involves surrendering our plans and ambitions to embrace his divine purpose for our lives. The process may challenge our preconceived notions, but therein lies the beauty of faith. Consider the life of Mary, the mother of Jesus. In Luke 1.38, Mary responds to the angel Gabriel with profound humility and surrender, saying, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Mary's alignment with God's will paved the way for the miraculous birth of our Savior. Alignment involves a conscious choice to seek God's guidance in our decisions, to live in accordance with his teachings and to trust in his sovereign plan. It requires us to let go of our own desires and in turn, embrace a purpose far greater than ourselves. Miracles often unfold when we step into the flow of God's will, allowing his divine orchestration to manifest in our lives. This alignment is not a one-time event, but a continuous journey of seeking, listening, and obeying. In our pursuit of miracles, let us reflect on our alignment with God's will. Are we walking in step with his purpose for our lives? Are our actions reflective of a heart surrendered to his guidance? As we embrace this first sign, may we find inspiration in the words of Jesus in Matthew 6.10, where he teaches us to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let our hearts echo this prayer as we align ourselves with the divine, paving the way for miracles to unfold in our lives. Let us now explore the second sign that whispers to our hearts, the promise of miracles, persistent prayer. Have you ever experienced the transformative power of prayer, a sacred dialogue between your soul and the divine? In Luke 18, one, Jesus encourages us with these words. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. This scripture underscores the significance of persistence in our prayers as a key to unlocking miraculous possibilities. Persistent prayer is not merely a repetition of words. It is a relentless pursuit of communion with our Creator. It's an acknowledgement that our relationship with God is a continuous conversation, a heartfelt exchange that transcends the boundaries of time and circumstance. Consider the parable of the persistent widow in Luke 18, 2, 8. Despite facing an unjust adversary, she perseveres in seeking justice. Her persistence moves the unyielding judge to grant her request. This parable illustrates the power of tenacity in prayer, showcasing that our persistent cries to God do not fall on deaf ears. The journey of persistent prayer invites us to press on even when faced with silence, to persist when answers seem distant, and to trust that God's timing is perfect. In James 5.16, we are reminded, the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Persistent prayer aligns our hearts with God's will, creating a fertile ground for miracles to take root. Look to the life of Hannah in 1 Samuel 1. Despite her barrenness and the taunts she endured, Hannah persisted in prayer at the tabernacle. 
Her fervent supplication moved the heart of God, and she was blessed with the miracle of conceiving Samuel. As we contemplate the second sign, let us ask ourselves, are we persistent in our prayers? Do we approach God with unwavering faith, consistently seeking His guidance, mercy, and intervention? In the pursuit of miracles, let us not grow weary in prayer. Let our petitions be marked by persistence, knowing that our Heavenly Father hears and responds to the cries of His children. May our prayer lives be a testament to the transformative power of persistent communion with the Almighty. Let us embark on a journey of faith as we explore the third sign that heralds the promise of miracles, faith in the face of challenges. In Hebrews 11, 1, we find a profound definition of faith. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It is this unwavering faith, particularly in the face of challenges, that opens the door to the miraculous. Life is a tapestry woven with threads of joy and sorrow, triumphs and tribulations. It is during these challenging moments that our faith is tested and the depth of our trust in God is revealed. Rather than succumbing to doubt and fear, the call is to anchor our faith in the unshakable promises of our Heavenly Father. Consider the story of David facing the giant Goliath. In 1 Samuel 17, 45, 47, David declares, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. David's unwavering faith in God's strength led to a miraculous victory over seemingly insurmountable odds. Our journey of faith involves trusting in God's sovereignty, even when circumstances challenge our understanding. Faith empowers us to see beyond the obstacles and believe that God can turn challenges into opportunities for His glory. In Matthew 14, 29, 31, we witness Peter walking on water towards Jesus. Despite the stormy seas, Peter's initial steps are a testament to the miraculous potential of faith. Yet when he allows doubt to creep in, he begins to sink. This narrative serves as a poignant reminder that our faith, when steadfast, can defy the natural order and lead us to miraculous encounters with the divine. As we contemplate the third sign, let us introspect. How do we respond when faced with challenges? Do we allow fear to overshadow our faith or do we stand firm, confident in the God who is greater than any adversity? In the pursuit of miracles, let us cultivate a faith that stands resilient in the face of challenges. May our trust in God's promises be unwavering, knowing that through faith, mountains can be moved, and miracles can unfold. May our lives reflect the transformative power of faith in the midst of life's storms. Let us continue our exploration of the signs that foretell the arrival of miracles as we delve into the fourth sign, openness to divine timing. In Ecclesiastes 3, 1, we are reminded that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. It is this profound understanding of divine timing that marks the pathway to miraculous unfoldings in our lives. In a world that often demands immediate results, embracing the concept of divine timing requires patience, trust, and an unwavering belief that God's plan is perfect. Our limited perspective may urge us to hasten the process, but Scripture teaches us to wait upon the Lord. Consider the story of Abraham and Sarah, Despite God's promise of a son, they faced the challenge of waiting for years, well beyond the expected time for childbearing. However, in Genesis 21, 2, we witness the fulfillment of God's promise. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age, at the very time God had promised. Their openness to divine timing led to the miraculous birth of Isaac. Divine timing often involves a journey of preparation, refinement, and growth. In Isaiah 40, 31, we find solace. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This waiting period, when viewed through the lens of hope and trust, becomes a season of preparation for the miracles that lie ahead. As we reflect on the fourth sign, let us ask ourselves, 
Are we willing to surrender our timelines to God's perfect timing? Do we trust that He knows the opportune moment for the miraculous to manifest in our lives? In the pursuit of miracles, let us cultivate an openness to divine timing. May we navigate our seasons of waiting with patience, knowing that God's timing is orchestrated with precision and purpose. May our hearts be attuned to the rhythms of His plan, and may our lives bear witness to the beauty of miracles unfolding in the fullness of time. Let us journey further into the signs that illuminate the path to miracles, and now we explore the fifth sign, acts of kindness and compassion. In Matthew 25, 40, Jesus imparts a timeless truth. Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. It is through acts of kindness and compassion that the seeds of miracles find fertile ground to blossom. The world can often be a challenging and demanding place, but it is in the tender moments of selflessness that miracles often unfold. Acts of kindness are not mere gestures, they are divine reflections of God's love manifested through His children. Consider the parable of the Good Samaritan in Luke 10.30, 37. The Samaritan's compassionate response to a wounded stranger exemplifies the heart of kindness. His actions not only brought healing to the injured man, but also showcased the miraculous power of love and compassion, transcending societal boundaries. Our world hungers for compassion, and as we extend kindness to those around us, we participate in a miraculous exchange. Proverbs 19.17 tells us, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord, and He will reward them for what they have done. Acts of kindness become loans to the Almighty, and in His divine economy the interest paid is the miracle of transformed lives. In the pursuit of miracles, let us ask ourselves, how can we be conduits of kindness and compassion in our daily lives? Are we attuned to the needs of those around us, ready to extend a helping hand or a comforting word? As we embrace the fifth sign, let us cultivate a spirit of kindness and compassion. May our lives be marked by selfless acts that echo the heart of God, fostering an environment where miracles naturally unfold. In the tapestry of human connections, may our threads of kindness weave a narrative of divine intervention and transformative grace. As we continue our exploration of the signs leading to miraculous encounters, let us turn our attention to the sixth sign, gratitude amidst challenges. In 1 Thessalonians 5.16, 18, we are reminded to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances. It is through cultivating a heart of gratitude, even in the midst of difficulties, that we pave the way for miracles to unfold. Gratitude is not merely an expression of appreciation for the good times, it is a transformative perspective that can turn trials into opportunities and challenges into stepping stones toward the miraculous. In moments of adversity, giving thanks becomes an act of faith, acknowledging that God's hand is at work even in the midst of our struggles. Consider the story of Paul and Silas in Acts 16.25, 26. Despite being imprisoned and facing hardships, they chose to sing hymns and praise God. Their gratitude in challenging circumstances led to a miraculous earthquake that not only freed them from their chains, but also impacted the jailer's life. In our own lives, Gratitude has the power to shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, creating an atmosphere where miracles can flourish. When we express gratitude amidst challenges, we affirm our trust in God's provision and sovereignty. In the pursuit of miracles, let us ask ourselves, do we maintain a spirit of gratitude when faced with difficulties? Can we find reasons to be thankful even in the midst of life's storms? As we embrace the sixth sign, let us cultivate a heart of gratitude amidst challenges. May our prayers be infused with thanksgiving, acknowledging that every circumstance, whether joyful or challenging, is an opportunity for God to work miracles in our lives. As we continue our exploration of the signs that point toward the miraculous, 
Let us now delve into the seventh sign, spiritual discernment. In 1 Corinthians 2.14, we are reminded that the person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness. It is through spiritual discernment that we gain insight into the divine, unlocking the mysteries that lead to miraculous encounters. Spiritual discernment goes beyond human wisdom. It is a gift from God that allows us to perceive and understand His guidance. It involves tuning our hearts and minds to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, discerning the subtle whispers of God amidst the noise of the world. Consider the story of Solomon in 1 Kings 3, 9, 12. When given the opportunity to ask for anything, Solomon requested wisdom to govern the people. His desire for spiritual discernment led to a miraculous outpouring of wisdom, establishing him as one of the wisest kings in history. In our own lives, spiritual discernment becomes a compass guiding us through the complexities of decision-making and understanding God's purpose. It is a lens through which we can perceive the miraculous potential in seemingly ordinary situations. In the pursuit of miracles, let us ask ourselves, do we seek spiritual discernment in our daily lives? Are we attuned to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, allowing His wisdom to illuminate our path? As we embrace the seventh sign, let us cultivate a spirit of spiritual discernment. May our hearts be receptive to the insights that come from God's Spirit, enabling us to recognize the miraculous opportunities that may otherwise go unnoticed. As we continue our exploration of the signs that pave the way for miracles, let us now delve into the eighth sign, alignment with God's Word. In Psalm 119, 105, we are reminded that your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. It is through aligning ourselves with the teachings and principles of the Bible that we navigate life's journey with divine guidance, setting the stage for miraculous manifestations. God's word serves as a roadmap, illuminating the path of righteousness and providing the wisdom needed for daily living. When we align our lives with these truths, we position ourselves to experience the miraculous in ways that go beyond human comprehension. Consider the words of Jesus in John 8, 31, 32. If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Aligning with God's word is not merely an intellectual exercise. It is an active commitment to live in accordance with the liberating truths found in Scripture. In the pursuit of miracles, let us ask ourselves, are our lives aligned with the teachings of God's Word? Do we actively seek the guidance and wisdom found in the Scriptures as we navigate the complexities of life? Let us cultivate a deep love and reverence for God's Word. May our lives be characterized by a commitment to live out its truths allowing the principles within to shape our thoughts, actions, and attitudes. As we continue our exploration of the signs that guide us toward miraculous encounters, let us now delve into the ninth sign, expectant faith. In Mark 11:24, Jesus imparts a powerful truth. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. It is through cultivating expectant faith that we open ourselves to the miraculous possibilities that God has in store for us. Expectant faith is more than a wishful thought. It is a confident assurance in God's promises. It involves anticipating with certainty that God is faithful to fulfill His word, even when circumstances may seem contrary. Consider the story of the woman with the issue of blood in Mark 5.25.34. Despite facing a chronic condition, she approached Jesus with expectant faith, believing that merely touching his garment would bring about healing. Her unwavering faith resulted in a miraculous and instantaneous restoration of health. In our own lives, expectant faith transforms our prayers from mere petitions to confident declarations of God's goodness and provision. It is an acknowledgement that in God's perfect timing, our requests will be answered according to His will. In the pursuit of miracles, 
let us ask ourselves, do we approach God with expectant faith, believing that He is able to work miracles in our lives? Is our faith grounded in the confident assurance that God is both willing and able to exceed our expectations? Let us cultivate a heart of expectant faith. May our prayers be marked by a confident belief that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating miracles beyond what we can fathom. May our faith be a catalyst for the extraordinary, ushering in miracles that bear witness to the limitless power of our Heavenly Father. As we approach the culmination of our exploration into the signs that herald miraculous encounters, let us now delve into the tenth sign, sharing God's love. In 1 John 4, 7, 8, we are reminded that God is love, and as we extend this divine love to others, we create an environment where miracles abound. It is through the selfless act of sharing God's love that we become conduits for miraculous interventions. God's love is not meant to be hoarded. It is a gift to be shared generously with others. When we embody this love in our words and actions, we become instruments through which God's miraculous power can touch and transform lives. Consider the example of Jesus, who demonstrated God's love in every encounter. His compassion, kindness, and sacrificial love were not only transformative, but also became the catalyst for numerous miracles, from physical healings to spiritual transformations. In Matthew 22:39. Jesus instructs us to love your neighbor as yourself. This command is not a mere suggestion, but a blueprint for creating an atmosphere where miracles become a natural outflow of God's love in action. In the pursuit of miracles, let us ask ourselves, are we intentional about sharing God's love with those around us? Do our lives reflect the selfless and compassionate love that Christ demonstrated during his earthly ministry? Let us cultivate a heart that overflows with God's love. May our words and deeds be saturated with kindness, empathy, and compassion, creating a ripple effect of love that paves the way for miracles. Now this is the time for prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, acknowledging your majesty and grace. We thank you for the gift of life, for your unfailing love and the boundless mercy you extend to us each day. As we bow before your presence, we seek your guidance and wisdom. May your Holy Spirit illuminate our minds and hearts, leading us in the paths of righteousness. Help us to align our lives with your word and to walk in obedience to your commandments. Lord, grant us the strength to face the challenges that come our way, knowing that you are our refuge and fortress. Fill us with expectant faith, believing in your promises, and trusting in your perfect timing. We lift up those who are burdened, sick, or in need of your healing touch. Pour out your comfort upon the brokenhearted and bring peace to those in turmoil. May your love be a balm that soothes every wounded soul. Father, empower us to share your love with others. Let our lives be a reflection of Christ's compassion, kindness, and selfless love. Use us as instruments of your grace to bring about miraculous transformations in the lives of those we encounter. We pray for our leaders, both spiritual and secular. Grant them wisdom, discernment, and a heart for justice. May they lead with integrity and humility, seeking your will in all decisions. Lord, we express our gratitude for the ultimate miracle of salvation through Jesus Christ. Thank you for the sacrifice on the cross that has redeemed us and granted us eternal life. May we live in the joy of this salvation, sharing the good news with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Comment Amen if you believe that this prayer will help in your life. Subscribe this channel for more video, like this video, and share this video in your friends and family.